Hey, you all. This is Lou Rayo inside my window. Inside my window. How's everyone doing? How you all been? I know this is another exciting video. It's on the Ninja Foodie XL Ear Oven. What? Yeah, we're doing another one. No, no, I'm not gonna unbox. We're gonna have it all out, but I'll tell you what comes with it. We'll put this baby to a test, and guess what? If you're thinking about buying a Ninja Foodie grill, the original or the XL, stop the madness, stop the madness. I have a special surprise towards the end of this video. Yes, you don't have to buy the grill, but to get there, let's move on. Let's get going. Let's start this review. All right, we'll come right back. All right, all right, here we are with this beautiful, beautiful, heavy, oh, this sucker's heavy, baby. It's about at least a good over 20 pounds. It has to be, has to be. It's heavy. First of all, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're getting through this, uh, still, still, we're going, all of us going through this coronavirus epidemic. I hope you're all doing well. Those who are go, going to work still, you're safe. And if anything, um, our thoughts and prayers are always out to those who are not doing so well. That being said, they just came out with this baby. And let me say, those reviews, they're awesome. They're good reviews for, for the most part. I'm going to do something that is totally different than any review you will see on YouTube. They haven't done this. And I'm going to show that towards the end. There's a twist to that. By the way, I'm going to tell you, by the time you're done watching this review, my friends, it's going to be like, why? I don't need a foodie grill. I don't need to spend that money. And I'm going to explain the difference between this and the foodie grill, whether it's the first version or, or, the XL that just came out. The big, the big, huge, heavy foodie grill. Here, we have a beautiful, beautiful oven. And let me go ahead and real quick, give you the measurements on this oven. Beautiful, well-made handle that allows you to open up the door and control the functions that's built into the handle. I'm gonna measure this from the handle back to back to the countertop oven. There is a piece sticking out, and I'll show that in a second, but I'm gonna go all the way to the bubble. It's gonna give me 20 and a half inches, 20 and a half inches. That is what? That is from the front to the back. Let's go ahead without the handle that is 15, uh, no, I'm gonna go with the bubble, 18 inches, 18 inches. From width, we're looking about a little over 17 inches, just a fraction over 17 inches, the width. The side view, and here you have the vents, you have the vents, that allows the air to, uh, to breathe. And this is what I was talking about, the bubble, that's the bubble. Allow me to go to the other side. As you can see, it's heavy. And then you have another vent, just like that. From the bottom, where the legs are, touching the counter, we're looking at 13 and a half, 13 and a half inches. I'm gonna use the bubble part, not the actual back, because nothing can go back there, not even a rack. And we're looking about 11 and a half inches. Where the rack goes, we're looking about uh, just close to 14 and a quarter. The top to the bottom, we're looking at 
Wow, nine and a half. That's not bad. That's that's pretty good as as an oven. And you could see the inside. If, and if you notice, what I don't like, I don't like. I have used this oven once. I give. I, I definitely put it through a test. What I don't like about the oven is that this back part right here. Ah. This is a filter, you gotta take it out when you're baking any type of greasy stuff and you gotta clean it. To get some of the grease around here, mmm, no, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled about that. It's hard to clean. One, it's hard to clean. Ah, two, hard to clean. Cord, when I measure the cord, it's 37 inches. We got that all covered. This oven does come with a light. Yes, it does, it does. It comes with a light. It comes with two heating elements on the bottom. It comes with another two heating elements on the top, if you could see that. And it has one, two, three, four, four positions to place your racks, four positions. What I like is that they do, they do number it. One, two, three, four on the side. There's no way for the camera to pick that up unless, you know, I really do some editing. Here you have a, you have a nice rubber seal around the door. I like that. Solid, 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 solid. Did I say that solid? Hear that? Now, most ovens, most ovens have that tingy sound. Like that. Other than the DeLonghi. The DeLonghi so far, countertop ovens in that category, it's the only one that sounds like this on the side. By the way, did you watch my other video? <laughs> did you watch the one? The countertop steam oven made by F. Blooming, Bloom Lin, 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 Blue Lin. Did you see that video? You haven't? I'm gonna say this, friends. It's one video in comparison to all the videos I've done. It's a big surprise. Yeah, it's a big surprise. And if you've seen the video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That being said, I like this. What I love is this. Power. Now you've probably seen this from many other videos relating to the XL, the Ninja Foodi XL. Here, what I don't like, I'm just gonna, t I'm gonna tell you what I don't like, this and this are so close together. So close. This is your oven temperature right here. This is your time. And if you look at the distance, I don't like that. I really don't. And I think the company somehow, somebody, I don't know, whoever approved this was sleeping on the job. They had, this and this should have, should have been separated. Um, there should have been more space in between the time and the temperature. Here you have your power button. Let's go, you have your power button. You have your pre-select items right there. Air roast, air fry, bake, dehydrate, boil, toast, bagel, pizza, and reheat. Not bad. Yeah, again, you've probably seen that on other videos. Okay, here you have your function selection, your function buttons. You have your temperature, you have your time, and you have your function. Now, temperature, you have your plus and you have your minus. You press on the plus and it'll change the temperature all the way up to 450. Bring it down, blah, blah, blah. And that's on bake mode, all the way up to 450. Now, keep this in mind, it is a convection. The fan will run. Distribute the heat evenly throughout the oven to give you that heat at every moment of time of cooking. 
your function, function is your plus and minus, which will control your pre-selects. Lou, the pre-select, does that mean I have a manual override? Well, there is no manual override per se. Now, in a way, when you select baking, and you, you can change the temperature and the time. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. In a way, you are manually changing the, pre, the preset. Let's start this baby. Now you have a light. Light off, light on. If you decide that you want to cook a pizza, but you have two pizzas, what do you have, the chemical pizza or you have your homemade pizza? If you decide that you want to cook a 12 inch pizza in this oven, 12 inch, and you want to do two pies at once, you put it on rack three and rack one. To select the two pies, to let the Ninja Foodie know that you're cooking or baking, whatever that you're doing two pies at once, you have to click this button. So this button will give you level rack one and rack three. Now, Ninja Foodi, as far as the way it's programmed, computerized, it's going to distribute the heat properly, properly on level one, rack one, and then rack two, rather than being distributed for that one rack. It's gonna it's going to distribute that heat properly. Supposedly. I didn't tell oh 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 Lord I almost forgot. Okay, what does it come with? You've seen this already in other videos. I'm not gonna go it now. If you notice I only did one thing. I did one thing. I cook a chicken. I pretty much did not do much with this oven. This is what you get. You get oh Lord you get the booklet you get the booklet, and this booklet, okay, real quick, this booklet comes with recipes, recipes, baby. Look at that, look at that, look at that. As an air fryer oven, convection oven, look at that. And then you get this, you got, it, it's tips and tricks and, and what you can use. Look at that, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah. You got another booklet, how to use it. Yeah, how to use it, not bad. Ah, boring. Okay, now we're coming to photos. You know me, I love pictures. It says a lot more than words. Don't take, don't take it back. There's another piece there, then this part. It's about cleaning the filter, see that? Okay, now. I'm not taking this out, but you got a nice thing steel. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at that. This is solid. Let me tell you. Solid, baby. Solid. Look at this. No, you didn't really use it. What pans did you use? I used my own pans, but this is solid. These are non-stick, supposedly. They're non-stick. Solid. I heard somebody. I did. I know. I know through the grapevine. I heard somebody. Ah, where is it? What is the measurements of the pants? Well, let's do that. It's 13 and a half and 11 and a half. 13 and a half and 11 and a half. That means you cannot go any bigger in this. You could go small, but you can't get any bigger than this. They give you another one. Look at this. Look at this. Lord! Lewis! Yeah! You should have had this ready. I know! Look. Nice. Nice pan. Nice pan. All right. We're going to come back. We're going to come back, baby. And guess what we're doing? Our first test. What? Pizza, chemical pizza, pizza, chemical pizza. We're coming right back. Let's get that going. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, all right. We got our 
chemical, chemical, chemical pizza. Ah, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do the chemical pizza. It's not homemade, it's not homemade. I'm using Red Baron. Ah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. Reminds me of Snoopy. He's missing Snoopy, he needs Snoopy with him. This calls for 400 and they're requiring about 17 and 19 between 17 and 19 minutes at 400 ninja foodie requires to be on rack three that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to go ahead ah what are we going to do lou we're going to power it on power 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 and we're going to select pizza so let's go function pizza Pizza, it says 15 minutes. We're gonna change that time to 18 minutes. It's at 400. We're gonna be on rack three and we're gonna press start. And it is preheating at the moment. It's going to beep. When it beeps, it's telling you to go ahead and place your food or in this incident, the pizza into the oven. Always turn your pizza. A professional, whoever makes pies, we call them pies, from New York, from Brooklyn. Anybody who makes pizza professionally, they will always turn the pizza. Now it's telling us to add. So we're gonna go ahead and add. It's done. That's pretty fast for preheating. Rack number three. Voila, we gotta put this baby in fast. It's on number three, close. We're gonna come back. We're gonna check on this. I don't wanna waste your time. I don't want you to sit here throughout this whole thing and, and, and wait 18 minutes. Oh no, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Now I'm gonna go to another video. <laughs> don't do that. All right, we'll come right back. All right, back. We have about two minutes left, and I bumped up the time during the time when I cut the video, didn't edit, just cut it to, so you didn't have to wait. I bumped it up for a minute because I want it more crispy. I only turned it once. I didn't have to turn it several times. All these products have been purchased by me personally, and I'm not being funded or, or, or being told by these companies what to say. It's all coming from me and my personal experience to share to you. Have you ever seen that video around the house with Kay and Tom? Well, Tom on YouTube, he has a YouTube channel. And I don't, by the way, I don't mind sponsoring someone else's YouTube channel. I'm not here for ratings. I'm not here for numbers. I, anybody who's going to watch YouTube, I, all I care about is that you're content, you're happy, and you're enjoying what you're watching. And therefore, I don't mind sharing other YouTubers, um, YouTube creators. Okay, this is done. Well, his video is awesome. Awesome. He does a lot on the Ninja Foodie. And I really enjoy his personality. And... Also, the way he presents the product or what he's cooking. He has a lot of cooking recipes using tools such as the Ninja Foodie. I'll leave a link and go there. He doesn't even know I'm sponsoring him, but go there and, and you'll, you'll enjoy him. He's really got quite a few videos out. This is complete and keep in mind, Look at this baby. Look at all baba. Nice and crunchy. <laughs> Why did I say nice? It's chemical, it's chemical pizza. Okay, I, and you know, you, you'll probably hear me a lot when I'm doing countertop ovens. I always use the word chemical pizza for, or chemical food, depending on what I'm doing a review for. And I, I, I do that because most people do buy, that's what they do. The consumers buy pre-made box products. That's why I'm using a box product most of the time to test out the product that we're reviewing on. And, but I hope, I hope, I hope 
somehow I can convince you all not to try to stay away from pre-made box products. This actually, I, I, I only turned it once. Look at that. Ah, nice. In fact, I think this pizza came out far better, far superior, and as far as cook-wise, my DeLonghi that I did a review on. I know, isn't that crazy? And, and remember, I did up one minute on this, just one minute. Oh, by the way, this does get hot. Hot, hot, hot on the side. The back is not too bad. The side, yes. The top, yes. It does get hot. This is not bad. This has a nice crisp bottom, very crispy. The dough is completely cooked. Look at that, look at that. I mean, it's, it's the, the crust all around. All I did was one turn. See the dark spots? Well, I did that purposely, but it doesn't have to get that dark, but it's completely cooked evenly. It definitely fulfill its, its what Ninja advertised. It definitely did a awesome, awesome job. Okay, let's get to that tater tots. Let's do that. Now we're gonna do tater tots. And the tater tots, they're store brought brand, but this is the tater tots. And we're gonna go ahead the oven is already preheated because I tested it out just to do the temperature. But we're going to go ahead and place this in here. And it's going to be on the third rack. And I'm doing air fry. It's on the third rack. And I'm going to go ahead and press start. I already got the temperature at 450, which is what the uh, package calls for. And it calls for eight minutes and then toss and then another eight minutes. We're gonna see how this is going to perform on tater tots. And, and then we'll go from there. And by the way, my friends, just to let you know, we're getting really close, we're getting really close. We're going to turn this baby. Even the company didn't even know I could do this. They didn't even know they can do this. And they should know this. Because by the time I'm done showing you what we could do with this, it may change the whole next uh, generation on the pro air fryer from Ninja Foodie. It, they, they may end up changing everything now. By the time I'm done, this is going to be so cool. We're going to take this baby and we're going to turn this into the Ninja Foodie grill. What? Yeah. Wait. No one's done this on YouTube. Nobody but me. Oh, by the way, I got to tell you this while this is cooking and then we'll come back. You know, there's another video. I'm going to share a link. I, I, I I fell in love with this woman. She's in her 80s, and they call her mama. And she does all these Italian, homemade Italian recipes on YouTube. She is absolutely, absolutely astonished when you watch her. I mean, she's in her 80s. I'm gonna share this link. I believe she, uh, Bona, uh, 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 Bona, almost like a Bona Petite, but Bona something. But anyway, I should know her name, and sorry about that, but it's, it'll be in the link. She's amazing. I mean, she makes homemade sauce by the jars, tons and tons. I mean, we're talking hundreds of jars of sauce. You'll see her with all of this large containers of, of real tomatoes, and, and she'll cook those suckers down to to the sauce base and then transfer it into all these jars and then seal them. She's just amazing. All her stuff that she makes is, I, I, man, I would be so head, I would gain so much weight if, I, if she was my mama. But I'm gonna share a link to that because she really, she's just amazing and she sings and, and, and she's an Italian. Uh, I believe Sicilian, if I'm not sure, please forgive me if not, but uh, maybe from Northern Italy, I don't know. Um, I'm half Italian, so, but she sings, and, and, and one, one of the, I was in tears. I was in tears. One of the songs was, Ave Maria. But she does it in an Italian, it's so beautiful. Oh my Lord, it just put tears in my eyes. She's just amazing. You gotta watch her videos. All right, we'll come back.
Okay, so this is just about done. It's going to beep. We're getting to the point where it's cooked. I opened up the door. I did toss the tots, tater tots, and it should be done any moment. Did I upped up the time? No, I did not. Now it's done. We're gonna remove. It's gonna be hot. Ah, voila. Someone said, hey Lou, how come you're not using Foodies pans? Because these are nonstick too, and I love these pans. I got these at Target. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. These are cooked, baby. These are cooked. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Look how beautiful. Those are cooked. Those are cooked. Now the question is, Lou, are they, are they soft or hard inside? Do they burn through? We'll find out. Let's do it. Ready? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? Nice, nice and soft inside. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm, hot. Mmm, hot, mmm, hot, mmm. Good. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so, so my friends, my friends, my friends, look what I have. Look what I have. Yeah, a new gadget. Oh, Lord. And it's going to be used off my phone. I'm going to do a review on that. Oh, yes. It's a thermometer. Yes, I don't, no wires, no wires attached. This is beautiful, I have used this so far, I tested it out, it's awesome. Well, Lou, what are you gonna use it for? Ha ha, ha ha, get ready. This chicken is full of Italian herbs, and I used Italian parsley, stuffed it into the cavity, yeah, I sticked it right into the butt there, and this has a beautiful, butter inside, olive oil all around, and, and, and pretty much uh, Italian herbs, and garlic, lots of garlic. We're gonna test this baby out, and we're gonna see how well this is gonna cook. I'm gonna take my wireless meter, it's by meter, M-E-A-T-E-R, meter. I'm going to stick it into the breast. Do not, I do not hit the bone. Take it all the way. This is going to give me a perfect temperature. Now that's something I will link to. You can look at, decide for yourself whether or not. Hey Lou, I love it. Or, hey, nope, 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 nope. Not for me Lou, too expensive. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this meter. And then, I'm gonna set up cooking, poultry, chicken, whole as you can see ah uh, at 165 and we're going to start to cook and right here it's telling me right now it's at 56 degrees fahrenheit and it needs to reach at 165 is that cool is that cool it's telling me the amp or in other words around the environment it's at 82 right now so wow i was wondering why I was wondering why I was feeling hot. Ah! It's gonna change in environment uh, mode. It's gonna get higher once it goes into this oven. What we're gonna do, and I could walk around all around the house, just keep track of my chicken. We're gonna set it to bake. So the function, it's the next one down, bake. I want it at 375. And then we don't have to worry about the oven being uh, pre preheated because it's already hot inside. 375. I'm going to go ahead with time. One hour and 40 minutes or 45. It ain't going to take that long. Why? This is only about a five pound bird. Five pound. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place this in here. Here, it's on the lowest rack. Gonna close the door. It'll automatically start. We'll put on the light, let you see what's going on in there. See the bird? I see the bird. I see it through my 
camera there. <laughs> yeah, my LCD is reversed so I can see myself. I love myself. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, my friend. It changed the temperature in the environment. It's going to tell me exactly what the heat inside of that el the oven, the countertop oven, right? The foodie. Foodie. Ninja foodie. Look how fast that's going. Look how fast that's going. It should reach at 365, and then it'll give me a warning when the bird is nearly done. I also could pre-program it that if I want to take it out 10 minutes before or I want it further cook, I don't want to take it out at 165. I want to do beyond that. Who would want to overcook their bird anyway? I, I, I wouldn't know. You can do that. You can. You have functionality such as uh, changing the presets on here. Pretty cool, right? Not bad. This goes for around, see, already at 200. This goes for around 100 bucks, one single thermometer. A set goes for 199. If you get four of them, and all four will work off of one app, the one app, at the same time. I'll tell you where you have your thermometer, whether it's on the breast, the leg, each one of those will give you the temperature reading. We're gonna come back when this bird is done and let me say this, my friends, when we do come back, when we do come back, we're going to do something that's never been done before with a Ninja Foodie grill and a Ninja Foodie Pro air fryer. We're going to do something so totally different, it's never been done. Not even the company knows about it until this video is now posted and I'm gonna save you money, lots of money. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The chicken is about to come out. It's almost done. It's only indicating that the chicken is ready to come out. And, and we got about two minutes on the chicken, but I'm gonna do something a little different. Now, even though we have about two minutes and it's going to be right before 165 degrees, the reason for that is because when you do take the chicken out or any meats or poultry or pork, it's, will, it's not going to stop cooking. It's still going to cook for a little bit, for a few more minutes. It's going to reach eventually at that 165. You want to take it out exactly at 165. You want to take out right before 165. About 160 is a good time, okay? And then it will get to 165 because it's still cooking. All right. You notice there's, uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a brother or a sister here called the Ninja Foodie Grill. This is the original one. There is a Ninja Foodie Grill, ready? A Ninja Foodie Grill XL. It's wider. It has a digital display, and you've seen those. Hopefully, yeah, the ad that I just showed you or showing you now, the Ninja Foodie Grill XL, I believe it's called Pro, but it's XL. Is The difference is, is that lengthwise, it's longer versus uh, allowing four hamburgers on the original here, the original grill, at least six hamburgers Anything else like sausages, and could, yeah, it, it, you can hold a little more. What is really the difference? To me, I was gonna do a review. In fact, there's a, another YouTube creator who has done both and still, I think she's still doing it. She's doing both on, on reviews. And I'll, I'll even share that link too. She doesn't even know I'm doing that for her. But I don't mind, I really don't. I don't like the new grill. I find that it takes longer to cook tremendously it takes longer than the original i don't like it I, I put it through a test before about to do a review on it now for some reason a lot of other people they have great luck with it i did not i don't find i i just think it's a waste of money to be honest with you and i'm a new ninja foodie loyal customer and and i will not recommend the new ninja foodie xl but i will recommend this one if you decide to get it I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something. These two are going to merge. 
This has never been done before. It's not on YouTube. You won't find unless after someone gets this idea and wants to uh, uh, do the same thing. But other than that, I'm doing something that's original, never been done. These two are going to merge. And what I mean by that, yes, they're getting married. They're going to become one. You won't have to buy this. No, this is going to become this. We're going to the chapel and we're going to get married. That's what's going to happen. Yes, they're going to become one. Don't have to purchase it. Get this. It has more room. It's capable of doing just as much as this, if not more. Let me get the chicken out. Now, as I'm getting the chicken out, I want to let you know it's cooking. It's going to cook. It's going to cook. Look at that bird. Oh, baby. Look at that bird. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to let this sit for a while because that's what we're... It, it is the rule of, the, of cooking. You've got to let it sit before cutting it. Allow me to explain... You, why you don't need to buy this or buy the Excel. You don't need to do it. You don't need to buy this and have this at the same time. I think so far as you can see, this sucker cooks just as good, if not better, than this. And the difference is, most of you probably already know all about the foodie grill. So there's no reason for me to go over the foodie grill. Why I'm saying you don't need to buy this, all you need to do, which is by time I tell you, the Ninja Foodie website is going to be flooded for those who are going to purchase this or already did so. You're going to buy an extra accessory to add on to this. This is now going to become this as well. All you need to do, and, news, and, and you can find this on the website, and I guarantee you they're probably going to sell out by the time I'm done or by the time you get the info and then head on there or after the review. You can get this. You don't need to buy this. This is so inexpensive. This is only 29 bucks versus almost what? Two something, 250 for the grill. I mean, for the whole unit, right? You can buy these two items, or you don't need to buy this. All you need to do is get your pan that already comes with this and just lay this inside. You ready? Lay this inside. Get ready. We're going to use. This extra attachment that we purchased separately from the um, grill here. We're going to lay this in here. And voila! Voila! Not only do you have a convection oven, right? That bakes, that broils, toasts, and, and, and does uh, pizza twice. And the size, the depthness in the cavity versus this versus this my friends you have all of this and now you converted this into a foodie grill as well i'm going to show you that we're going to go ahead and do some hamburgers and i'm going to show you how this works i'm going to take the original pan that comes with this yes i'm putting tin foil yes less cleanup to do i'm going to place this right above we're going to go ahead i i'm going to just get this thing preheated it said at 450 i'm going to start okay what i'm doing right now i'm going to go ahead preheat it now even though the oven is hot blah 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 it's not going to tell me it's not going to start out as preheating because it's already hot but it does not know there's a what a grill in there now, you probably could find a different grill. You don't necessarily have to get the Ninja grill that runs, I think, around $29, 30 bucks. You probably could find a different grill that will fit in your rack. You are actually transforming this, not just as an air fryer oven, but as an air fryer, what? 
Ninja Foodie Grill. Yeah, baby. Eliminated all that dollars. You just had a huge savings versus buying this and then buying this. It doesn't make sense. And Ninja should know this. They should make with the grill as well because we're all looking for capacity, a large size in the cavity. That's what we want. We want large size. And when you buy the next one, right, the new model, it is huge. It's huge and it's freaking heavy, but it's only slightly, maybe about three inches uh, in lengthwise, a little bigger than this. But the housing is humongous. It's big and it's heavy and you can't really put it under a counter or put it in a storage area. I, I just don't like it. I really don't. It's pretty. It's got nice little digital stuff. You could click on beef. You could click on chicken and tell Ninja that's what's in your Ninja Foodie XL grill. There's a lot of cons, in my opinion, than pros in comparison to what you're getting here. I got this through calls and I used the 25% uh, off. I had a special 25% off. And those who are called buyers and you go there, you shop, you get called dollars. You can apply that with your 20%, 15%. Huge saving. Actually, the total amount this came out, for me personally, it was only $250. I need to show you, um, Look at this juice, look how juicy this is. This is amazing. And then here, you could see, look at that. That is so juicy. So this chicken really did well. I mean, the oven, the Fuji, uh, 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 um, the Ninja Foodie, Foodie, Foodie Pro, uh, XL Pro air, uh, air fryer oven, did a great job, man. Great job. Look at that. Look at that, baby. That's juicy. That is juicy. Let's go ahead and we'll do, we're gonna take that sucker out and then we're gonna do hamburgers, okay? Let me put everything away and we'll go from there. Because I'm working backwards. All right, I'm gonna place this on the grill. Watch this, hear that sizzling. Voila! Hear that. Hear that sizzling. Listen to that. Put it back in. Close the lid. Let it start. All I did was seasoning the burgers with a little salt, a little pepper, and some Worcestershire sauce, and that's it. Now, you heard that sizzling. You heard that, right? Allow me to turn on the light. Folks, I'm telling you, you don't need, you do not need to buy the Ninja Foodie Grill Original or XL. You don't need to do that. Get this, I'm telling you. We, we went through the pizza, we went through the tater tots, we went through the chicken, and now you're seeing what you can do just by getting the grill itself, use the pans, you don't need to get this here. If you don't want to, you don't need this. No, but I would get it, I would still get it, because sometimes some of the pans, I, I don't know, I like to keep all, you know, when, if the grease, the fats, depending on what you're cooking, the chicken, if you wanna, maybe grill some chicken with the skin on it. I would get this, why not? It's not gonna hurt the oven. <laughs> it's made for it. Well, now it is. And we just recreate what should have been is now not just a what? An air fryer countertop oven. It's an air fryer grill countertop oven that should have been, but is now. Thanks to me. Thanks to Lou. We'll come back. Let's see what this sucker does. And let's see how it turns out. Would it turn out the same as the grill? I'm already saying it will. So we'll come right back.
Voila. All right, all right, all right. Look what, look what I have here. This is beautiful, my friends. Look, beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that? Wow, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy to my tummy. Very good, very good. Now, didn't I say this was going to be different? Voila, it is, it is, my friends. Yes, it's different. I'm telling you, you don't need to invest. You don't need to invest to buy a Ninja what? You don't need a Ninja Grill. You don't need a Ninja Grill XL. All you need is this. This is perfect. It's great. It's, it's so functional. It has so many functions. And now with the addition of adding the grill plate, if you just add this, if you just add this, all you have to do, I'll send a link where you can buy this for 29 bucks. Now you have a Ninja grill plus an added as a Ninja what? Air fryer oven. And it's a lot easier anyway to move your foods around versus the grill itself. It's, it was a lot of diff, kind of difficult to do so. You can't beat that, my friends. We actually have merged the grill, the Ninja Foodie grill, into the Ninja Foodie countertop pro air what fryer oven. Isn't that unbelievable? Well, I think this has been great. It's, it's, it's a great opportunity for you all to take the time out and to watch this video. I hope I did justice with the Ninja Foodi countertop air fryer oven. And I hope it served well as far as my presentation. Please leave those comments. Please subscribe. Subscribe, my friends. Subscribe. It's right down there. Do so. I hope everyone, please be kind. Be kind. I know stress levels have been up and, 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 and opinionating uh, on certain things have been uh, not so what, as they say, kosher. My friends, please be kind in all that you do, okay? Well, until then, my friends, stay tuned for what? The Cuisinart Steam Countertop Oven. That's, that's going to be really cool. And then, and then, other stuff, other stuff. Until then, my friends, I leave you with peace, joy, and happiness in all that you do. Take care, my friends. Be well. Be safe. This is Lou Rayo. Inside my window. Inside my window. Take care, my friends. Take care. Wow. Going to the chapel, yeah. we're going to be married. Look at that. It's a grill. No, it's an air fryer. No, it's an oven. No, it's all. It's all. It's a combo now. Yes, you converted. You converted. <laughs>